Good day and welcome everyone to our news today. Pictures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's triumphant return to LA after their NYC trip had emerged, and they prove an awkward truth. You have to hand it to Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They are consistent. That is consistent in their seeming unwillingness to bow to any sort of public pressure or public feeling when it comes to a more extravagant elements of their lives. Or perhaps the more apt adjective is impervious to criticism because today, again, the Sussexes. For whom climate change is a key philanthropic focus, are facing accusations of hypocrisy after indulging in their penchant for private jet travel. The Javu anyone? In 2019, the couple sparked the initial private jet gate after Harry gave a speech, reportedly barefoot, about the climate threat at a conference of Wall Street and Silicon Valley power brokers. After which, the couple promptly took four private jets in 11 days as they jetted around Europe on holidays. All was then when Harry, which later went to Amsterdam to launch his eco travel initiative, Travelist. The duo then proceeded to stick to their expensive guns since, in March last year, they arrived in Los Angeles via Tyler Perry's two hundred five million dollars Embraer E one hundred ninety jet, and in August. Harry traveled to a charity polo match in Aspen via U.S. businessman Mark Gensey's twenty-seater, eighty-four million dollars Gulf Stream. Now today, pictures have emerged of the couple on the tarmac after landing in Los Angeles after their three-day trip to New York via, you guessed it, private jet. Clearly, two years of regular press and social media. Clamoring about this double standard seems to have had zero impact on their decision making. Last year, research by Save on Energy named the Sussexes as the least eco-friendly members of the royal house. Never mind that, there are more than 300 direct flights daily between the two cities every day. Never mind that, Harry in the past traveled domestically in the U.S. on commercial flights, including in economy. Harry and Meghan seem to have absolutely zero interest in making any sort of concession on this particular front, resolutely sticking to their "do as we say, not as we fly" approach. The stunning irony here is that one of the very reasons that the self-exiled members of the royal family had been in New York was to attend the Global Citizen Live concert, where they called for vaccine equality. Another girl for a celebrity field event, calling on the U.S. to have its emissions and for the world's wealthy nations to help developing countries go green. Living authentic lives would not seem to involve much repenting of ways, and here this story will stop with Harry and Meghan looking like hypocrites again, except for the fact that at the same time Harry's father and brother have been making serious waves, launching a pair of dynamic conservation and climate change initiatives. Last week. It was announced that Prince William had teamed up with the legendary Sir David Attenborough for a TV series called *The Old Shot Prize: Repairing Our Planet*. And then on Saturday, the trailer for the five-parter hit the internet. This is a moment for hope, not fear. William says to the camera. Just imagine what might be possible, Sir David says in his trademark lilt. Far from the stock standard non four polar bear and crumbling ice cap footage, audiences are treated to a 26 second trailer that is so uplifting and invigorating it will make you have the urge to go and sort your recycling. And that brings us to the end of the news today. Hope you enjoy it. Please click the like and subscribe to our news channel for more. Thanks for listening. And stay safe, everyone. Have a nice day.